All right, so just a very quick update for those of you that missed the news. The next Dokkan Fest unit that's coming to the JP side of the game has officially been revealed. And as you can see, it's going to be a new Bardock, which I feel like is a very solid option. It's not like the most hype thing in the world, but uh, Bardock has always been one of my favorite Dragon Ball characters. I've liked him since the original movie and then uh, his appearance in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie just kind of solidified my love for the character. You know, he's basically like a uh, more edgy, badass version of Goku, right, with a face scar. So, yeah, Bardock is awesome. I'm uh, excited for this unit. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this. I know that maybe people are hoping for some other characters, but once again, I feel like Bardock is always a good option, right? So... Uh, that is basically the announcement. We don't have any details about, you know, his kit, his animations, all that stuff. But that should be dropping on Twitter within the next, like, 48 hours. So, of course, I'll make sure you guys are updated for that uh, once it drops. Now, in terms of the campaign, we will, of course, be getting some Extreme Z Awakenings, right? And let's quickly pop over to the Dokkan Wiki here. And in terms of... Bardock units, there are quite a few that could be getting Extreme Z Awakenings. Uh, for example, we have the Dokkan Fest AGL Bardock, which was the last summonable Bardock unit we got, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, for this guy, uh, he dropped in March of 2020 on both sides because he was the Saiyan uh, Day unit, right? So, the AGL Bardock slash Super Saiyan Bardock, I think, is a pretty likely candidate to get an Extreme Z Awakening, although he is still relatively new, you know, like, it's been two and a half years. But there are other Bardocks, specifically uh, the Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, who is in much more need of an EZA, who definitely deserves an Extreme Z Awakening over the HGL Bardock, because this guy is, um, design-wise, one of my favorite characters in the game, one of my favorite units in the game, but he's just unusable at the moment, you know, like, he's just not good anymore, um, so this dude who came out in November of 2017, June 2018 for Global, uh, literally almost five years ago for JP, uh, I think he's probably the most likely guy to get an Extreme Z Awakening because it's just time. It's time we're getting a new Bardock, even though it's not a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Um, it would make sense for them to give Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock that Extreme Z Awakening. I mean, look at his passive, man. He gets attack and defense plus 100%, and then all super class allies attack plus 40% when HP is 70% or below. Now, if you look at this passive by today's standards, right through the lens of a modern day Dokkan player, that is awful. Like, if a free-to-play unit had this passive, it'd be like, that is an absolutely trash unit, right? But this is what passed for, you know, good passives back five years ago, and it was great when he released. But now, I want to be able to use Super Saiyan 3 Bardock again. Of course, he needs a lot more defense. He needs a lot more attack. He just needs a lot more everything. You know, he needs a lot more of everything to make him usable again so uh i'm hopeful for an extreme z awakening i'm sure they won't mess it up fingers crossed they've been pretty i mean it's been kind of hit and miss honestly recently with the extreme z awakenings but we know that when the extreme z awakenings are good they're really really good like str uh, cooler for example right so hopefully this guy gets the str cooler treatment i don't expect him to be as good as STR cooler, but somewhere in that range would be great. And uh, yeah, maybe bring back the Super Saiyan 3 category as well, you know, having a 180%. Actually, you know what? Recently, they've just been giving these category leads uh, 170 across the board for the, you know, new leader skills. So uh, he might just be like 170% uh, HP attack and defense for Super Saiyan 3, which would be fine, but 180%, of course, would be preferable. Anyways, uh, Bandai, I'm begging you, please give us the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock Extreme Z Awakening. If you want to give us AGL Bardock at the same time, 
that'd be fine. But I want the Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock AZA a hundred times more than the AGR Bardock AZA right now. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. That is the announcement. That is the news. New Dokkan Festival Bardock around the corner. Uh, details coming soon. And uh, yeah, let me know, guys, how you guys feel about Bardock. Would you have preferred a different character for the next Dokkan Fest? I think it's great. I have no issues with this. So uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.